HBC Digest Radio, uh, welcome back to a special edition of the podcast uh, with our conversation with distinguished leaders from historically black colleges and universities across the nation. And today we are joined by the newest leader of one of our esteemed HBCUs, Norfolk State University. She is the new president of Norfolk State, Dr. Javon M. Adams Gaston. Um, Madam President, uh, hopefully I'm the first person to say this to you, um, but congratulations. Uh, can you tell us? What, what what are your feelings right now to 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 be appointed as uh, uh, the, the next president of this great school? I'm truly honored and humbled. Uh, I am elated that I have been selected as the new president of Norfolk State University, and I feel so encouraged by all the things that we are going to do together and the successes that we will have. What what was it about Norfolk that indicated to you um, that it was a good fit? I mean, not only just through the announcement, but through the the interview and application process, getting to know the campus and some of its its assets and some of its strengths. What what about it was appealing to you? There are a number of things. One um, and the first is the trajectory of Norfolk State University. It really is seeing its way forward. Um, and it's a 21st century university, really thinking about what are the ways in which we can assist students, help them to meet their goals and to be prepared for all the things that they're going to need to do in the 21st century. Some of their new programs, the cybersecurity, the cyber psychology, all of those things that are happening, the nanotech, say that we're really forward-facing, thinking about ourselves um, in the world. You mentioned cyber psychology is one of those uh, institutional strengths and you're a psychologist by trade. Um, is there any leadership benefit in having that particular professional background for which I'm biased because my wife is a psychologist, so I know what it's <laughs> like to be walk around with your mind read all the time. Um, <laughs> how is that kind of helped you in your career has it has it been something that's helped you in in um your strategy of leading people leading divisions and departments and do you see that translating over to norfolk state so i really believe that the work that i did when i was practicing psychology which i'm not now mm -hmm. was really about uh, helping individuals create positive change or groups or couples uh, that expanded to organizations, and how do we move an organization forward with positive change uh, while it looks at what are the um, opportunities that it has, as well as the challenges, mm -hmm. and how do we help move beyond the challenge with excitement and with a sense of purpose. Part, most of your career has been at uh, really high level, high research intensive institutions, University of Maryland, and most recently at Ohio State, um, leading a number of divisions um, in direction of student affairs. And, and is this something that you think is, is going to be helpful coming to Norfolk or do you expect that there would be um some things that you have to learn about HBCU culture. Do you, I know a school is a school, but to go from one with one set of resources and one kind of culture to another, is there, is there a transition in doing that? I love the heritage of the HBCUs, and uh, many members of my family attended HBCUs. My son went to an HBCU. My sister was faculty at an HBCU, and I have an aunt who actually graduated from Norfolk State University. Mm -hmm. So it's part of my DNA and it's part of what I respect and honor. I think that one of the things that has been a hallmark of my career has been looking at students, no matter what size the institution, um, in terms of their individual growth and development. That really what we're intending for every student even you know when you're in large institutions or whether you're in a uh, smaller institution is to ensure that every student have a quality experience. And that is the turning point for how we help our students um, in their success. That happens in the classroom with the curriculum and with the faculty. It happens outside of the classroom with the activities and with the organization and with the mentorship that they receive. 
it, does, it really is about the quality of every student having an extraordinary experience. And then just to round out, I know you got so many interviews and so many people you got to talk to, and, and we really appreciate um, your time. But just the final thought um, on day one, when you when you officially take the helm of the school, who do you anticipate will be among the first people to whom you'll speak? And what do you hope to tell them and what do you hope to hear from them uh, that you think will get you on a strong start to your tenure? I hope to have the opportunity to talk to and meet with the entire community. I'd like the students, the faculty, staff, the alumni, all to know how important they are to this institution, as well as our community. And so I hope that we will have some opportunity to at least have representative members, um, as many individuals as we can, to begin having some conversation and discussion about our bright future here at Norfolk State University.